we're looking at, and one of the reasons that um, we were invited this morning was because we usually start the year in January after people take that Christmas break and New Year's break, which is traditional. It's like, do I ever go back to work? And so we usually start our year with a Motivation Monday session. And that session is, is free of cost. It finished last week, but we are sharing the recording. We have a YouTube channel, and we're just putting the material, the content out there. If you missed it, you can still grab some of those things. And it's how do we get people motivated to want to work, to want to get up and do something, to want to uh, produce things. And we pull a lot of things from the Bible, pretty much like you do, Pastor, because we see that a lot of the foundations are there. And so we share stories from the Bible, like even, like, we you know, last last Monday we were looking at the four lepers in, in Second Kings, who says, you know, why sit here until we die? You know, we can't just sit down, we have to get up and do something, take risks. There's a high chance that you might fail, but what if you don't fail? Right. You know, you have to, and you are going to be learning as you go along. And so a lot of people are unmotivated, one. A lot of people find that when the year starts, they set goals. And then December comes like, yeah. So how do we try and achieve those goals are some of the things that we look at. And it starts with writing along those goals. Mm -hmm. We look at things like vision boarding in our sessions. It's like, you know, write it down. Put write it plain it where right. you could see right. it. Right. right there in front of your face. Yeah. And every day you see it. And don't, don't put 20 goals. Right. What are those things that will move the needle for you? What are those things that you really want to accomplish and you're determined to work on this year? List those five things and put them there. Put pictures of what it will look like when it finish, right? When, when you have accomplished it. And you would be surprised if you continue to make those plans, work on it daily. Put, give yourself timelines. Sometimes you just say, okay, I'm going to lose 20 pounds. By when? How are you going to do this? What are the steps you're going to take? You know, and we encourage people to do that and get an accountability partner as well. Somebody that's going to keep you on track and say, yeah, you're still... You know, you know, lose the 20 pounds, what happened? What are you not doing? And so those are some of the things that we try to help because it's all here, you know. Yeah. It's a mindset, right. and we have to change that mindset. The we mind have to the test. Problem. Yeah, the, the mind, mind is the problem. The mind needs to be we, transformed. Right? And so that yeah. discipline, yeah. and in our goal setting, we talk about time management as well. What are you doing with your time? Does it mean you have to get up earlier? Rather than lying down there, the alarm goes off, snooze, snooze, snooze. I tell people, if five o'clock catch me to sleep every morning, I sick. Because you need to get up right, and right, start right. your day. You have to find out what is your time when you are most productive, when your mind is most clear. For me, it's early in the morning, and I struggle to stay in bed. It's like, stay in bed, and no, I have to get up. <laughs> yeah. Things, you know, it's, it's a clear era, you know, of focus for me. So you have to find what work for you and try to minimize the distraction. And I know when I get up at five, nobody the house is quiet. The rooster is crowing, the atmosphere is good. And the things I can do between five and eight is almost what people do all day in that tight bubble of, of, of total focus that I have. So it's not that you can't. So before some people, they start, you've already Ma done a yeah, whole day. Yeah, sometimes when people 